Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Uh, tonight me and Peter are sleeping rough on Redka Seafront. We're doing this to raise awareness of rough sleeping. Here's a quick look at what's coming up in this video. I'm testing the sleep pod. My temperature is saying 10.5. So the, the tranquil sea is doing me head in. So before we decided to do this, we popped over to Cornerstone over in Hartlepool. Uh, they're a homeless charity helping people that sleep rough. We see how they deal with the situation on the other side of the river and see what we can learn from that. Right, we're going to have a look at our sleeping arrangements. Yep. My bed for the evening. Peter's on top bunk and I'm going to be on bottom bunk. Uh, I'm going to get the sleep pod out, a bit of cardboard on the floor to protect it because we are actually giving it back. We're not keeping it, it's just a loan. Because uh, really what we want is someone uh, to benefit from it, you know, who is actually street homeless. This is just a test. Also, what we're doing is we've both got a thermometer each. We've got them currently there. They're exactly the same, within point of a degree of difference. So, unusually mild at this time of year in February. Terry's gonna have one in the pod. I'm gonna be having one outside with me. And uh, periodically during the night, we'll check the times and we'll check the temperatures to see how effective the pod is and keep him Terry warm using his own body heat. That's another thing as well. I've got an emergency sleeping bag in the car in case things get a little bit daft. But otherwise, I'm just in, I've got a one t-shirt and an undershirt. I've got my long johns on under these, and this is it. What I'm going to sleep in is what I've stood up in. This is real. It's as close to real we're going to get. Well, it is real, and anyone can walk past. So, at this minute in time, there are five people sleeping rough on Red Car Seafront. Yeah. yeah. Um, and a couple who are there at the moment have come from Middlesbrough, so they're waiting to be put in temporary accommodation come Monday, so they're just here for the weekend you know and they're actually sleeping yeah. rough over the weekend yeah. till they get put in so that was nice to see them going up and down and checking and, on and them. checking on everyone and, and if you need to know something they're there i didn't know that the pcso's come down and check on them Ask them i didn't know they did that and i'm uh, you know again I, it's a really good thing to see that they have come it's up it's done it's that. it's not well advertised or well documented yeah. the work that they do that little bit extra there are lots and lots of people out there who are helping these pods though i think there will be a success just the dynamics the it's the engineer the engineering and the simplicity and the cost effectiveness of them gives it a chance to be a success there's only one charity in the whole of the northeast that's actually got this yeah as part and parcel of what i'm trying to do i want that that charity and they seem the the people there were really nice oh, no, course from. absolutely spot right? on they want to spread the word as well make connections i, I know we keep going back to cornerstone because to be honest with you the way they operate at such a level, it is really, really good. It's a good model. It's a good model. You, you can't go wrong if you follow their, their strategies. Their strategy seems to be working. We know how breached like the back of our hands. It's one of our really strong points around here. We can maybe look at coming over and starting street sweep over there. So it's something that if you are them. Yeah, so we're supporting them with doing that for them. So they don't have to think about teams training, everything that goes with it. We can come over and maybe do it. Especially now with the... The sleep pods, because of obviously the northeast hub for the sleep pods. Um, so we are looking at into wider areas, connected to wider areas. We were at Edinburgh the other day doing street sweeps with them. If anybody was working with rough sleepers, they're connected with us, and we either kind of drop them off if we can, and then or they come and pick them up. But it's about it's not just about us giving them out. It's about us networking and 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 looking at kind of what we can do together, collaborative approach and things like that. So, so as soon as we give one, we know where they are for the next day for us then to visit the next day as an excuse because we take them. Right. Oh, well, that's that's a good thing that you've told us there because I didn't know how you followed it up. Yeah. So I've come to you. Yeah. I'm desperate. Yeah. Where do we go from there then? You show me where you're stopping. We'll take you out and you show us where you're stopping and we'll make sure that wherever you are, we'll supply you with a sleep pod, any food or any basic essentials that you need. And then we'll come the next morning, daylight, we'll help you pack your stuff up and we'll walk you to the council for emergency housing. We want to support, we'll give it to them. And when they're ready, if they're ready, that's when we'll kind of, you know. Yeah, so we, uh, myself and Danny, do the tenancy support for the supported accommodation that we do. Um, so it sort of ties hand in hand with the um, 
overnight emergency accommodation so somebody can get assessed while they're in one of them properties um, and if they're suitable for our supported accommodation we um, would look to put them in there. So the supported accommodation is a lot more support offered um, and it's really maintaining a tenancy and looking at the barriers that they have. Then we've got washing facilities here for anybody who's currently rough sleeping or anybody in the drop-in to come wash the clothes, dry the clothes. So this is our shower block. So they, we've got free toiletries as donations, so they can come in here, have a shower, freshen up. And I think once someone's had a shower and something to eat, they just feel so much better. Right, show me how it's done. Talk me through it. Coach me. Because I'm going to be putting this together in the dark. Roll it out. Roll it right out. Open it up like this way. How do we know the front from the back and the top from the bottom? Yeah, well, if you just open it out, you'll yeah. find... Uh, you find like the door you saw to you to, to me to you <laughs> and you can feel the warmth straight away as well you usually like oh, when you're breathing I'm, and... I'm like a, a cooked potato already <laughs> I can tell you come on to you oh here we go oh. feet all the way at the end hey it's all right yeah. oh. Yeah. Oh, hey you fit six foot five you've got to get comfy yeah, haven't you it. you've got to sleep on your side yeah, yeah. that's all yeah you've got to sleep on your side <laughs> hey it's not bad yeah, it's time to, to take the dip and let's see how, this is the fun bit, let's see how Terry let's gets into this. Do you want to pass me your pillar and go on feet first because you're going to kick that to the bottom, Terry. Right, I'll give you your pillar, Terry. you got your thermometer. So it is currently about 10, 9.5, 10, because I've got hold of it. There you go, Terry. Thank you very much. Get yourself all wrapped up, my friend. Yes, I'm filming you. Filling in me. <laughs> Give it a chance. Yeah. Yep. Put your door up. Use five pound four. Fingers up. And uh, we'll see how we get going. Yeah. Good night, Tess. See you, Pete. So yeah, time to relax. Hopefully, everything'll be all good. Good night. Bloody hell. Well, that makes things brighter. Right, it's 20 to 2. My temperature is saying 10.5. It's instantly a little bit warmer in here. Can you see some? It's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning, 10 degrees. I'm quite tired now. I've nodded off and it's cold. We've been out since night there. Very tired. Very cold. My hands are cold. Yeah, so couldn't imagine doing this every night. Right, it's 16 minutes past three. The temperature is 17 degrees in here, which isn't bad. I think the biggest problem I've got is the light that's shining through the top, reflecting on the inside of this wall so that the tranquil scene that people go on about is doing me head in but I do miss me own bed can't say that it's currently 25 past 4 temperature's still the same 10 degrees but it's got really cold the wind just took a slight change of direction Obviously, with not moving, your body gets cold. My feet are cold. My legs are cold. Things rattle. That's the wind picking up. And like I say, we've been out now six hours, six and a half hours. It's tough. Even on a mild night. So I know I was sort of joking earlier on, but it really is. It really is tough. I think that's keeping me. It's the fact that in a few hours I'm lucky enough to be going home. It's half past five in the morning. You can hear there's more traffic moving about now. The temperature in here is 16. And I think going on there about another half hour, I think we'll be stopping at about six. And no problems with the pod at all. We've had no problems with any uh, people or anything. 
I do miss my bed. I think I mentioned that. The sleep board has done its job. I think with just a few clothes that I've got on, it's probably just, it's not enough. But it's okay. And I'm still here, although I feel like I'm dead, I'm not. How was it? <sighs> clothes. Windchill. That's rocked away, I think. Huh? The t things have been rocked away here, the cans moving around and the neighbour's got a dog. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it's far too warm. And what is it? It's 16 degrees and it's been steady 16. I think we had a, a 17 at a point. Uh, comfort wise, there's no comfort on a floor, on a concrete floor. As a unit, I mean, if it was belting down with rain or anything like that, I, I, it wouldn't make any difference. I mean, it's not comfortable because of where I am, it, it does, that's not what it's about. As a survival pod, which is exactly what it's built for, it, will, it certainly will do the job. I think, I mean, if I had a sleeping bag when I was in it, I'd be toast, total toast. Everything yeah. would be great. I think the fact that I've only got me two t-shirts and, and I'm, I'm wearing what I stood up in um, is adequate, because I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> But uh, good night's sleep, no. <laughs> the amount of traffic that goes past here is ridiculous. And you snore. Other than that, I'll be glad to get home, I'll tell you that. I'll fold that back up. Now, that, oh. now, now, on a summer night, you're gonna lay on that. You don't need your cardboard. You don't need, your cardboard. Yeah, you don't don't even need any cardboard. You can wipe that thing as well. And you can roll it up. Yeah, I'm not joking, mate. There, yeah. definitely. Hey, look. Yeah, it was an experience. It's an experience that wasn't enjoyable yeah it's 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 no fun when you get called you know you're called um i i think if these pods are as good as what terry's said they are it could potentially be a lifesaver I, I, I really it believe it is i mean as you said you're shivering now you're a big lad and if you i mean you give yeah. him his sleeping bag, he was all right. It's only just started raining now, but I, if I was out in the middle of there in the rain, I wouldn't, it wouldn't have made any difference whatsoever, I'd have been fine. So what are you giving it then? Well, for what it's for, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. I think, so the, the consensus is, it's better than a pop-up tent. It wasn't claustrophobic, there was enough room to put a few bits and pieces around you. You know, I had, like I say, I had my phone and things like that. Size-wise, I could say it could even be tighter. I'm so we're doing this tomorrow cool. then, are we going to make it a weekly thing? No. Good lad. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. My toes are cold, fingers are cold. Uh, my legs, yeah, they're cold, but, but obviously the top half I was not so bad because it's warm. As yeah. long as this is warm, you're okay, but yeah. that's many layers to get to that one. Well, like I said, I've got very little on. I, you know, would I, should I put a jumper on as well? Yeah. If I was sleeping rough, I'd be covered in all sorts. You know what I mean? I'd have three t-shirts and. You went in there. Whatever. If you would, if you just walked over house today, yeah. you went there and you needed some help. And you only had the clothes on your back. That's the point. That was the whole idea. It did. Of it did a job. And it did the job. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment. That'd be nice. Because it's all about the comments. Click the like button. And all the charities are in the description.